All right. So uh, still on the half corn. Uh, so looking at that team, what are the you know the positives that you can take f you know from the tournament regarding the Super Eagles? I mean, for me, I love the fact that um, you know almost everyone actually you know got a feel of the tournament. I saw this and that you know made his debut in a major competition. You know, came in played as a right back. Umar Sadiq as well, even though he's been called up twice, the club uh, involvement didn't allow him in one of the call up. You saw him made his debut in a major tournament. You know, Kelechi Wakale as well made his debut in a major tournament. I my, mean, favorite, my favorite, my favorite of my he I mean, loves to play. It's I mean, funny. You know, really funny. I, he's a good, great guy as well. Great guy to to, to to speak to. But I mean, these are you know some positives I could take from the tournament, and for the fact that the fans were able to you know come together and uh, support the team. But for you, what are the positives you can take from the Afcon, even though our run was cut short in the round of sustain? Looking at the team and moving forward. Uh, I, I think some of the gains is I didn't know that Ola you know, is as good as I saw, mm. right? And that's something to benefit. That's one of the benefits. Semi Ajayi or Shemi, he says his name yeah. is not Semi, he says his name is Shemi, <laughs> Shemi, Shemi, Shemi Ajayi also gave me hope that the defense line does not necessarily have to depend on the Oyibo war constantly. Even though I, it, it caught a figure of a, a man who's not happy, who feels like should be starting in, in these games. Why did you bring me here if I'm not going to play? But then it's football. Once the coach makes their selection, I knew Omero was going to start anyway. Once Leon Balogun was uh, mentioned not to be in, so it wasn't that bad. Left full back Zaidus is still solid as ever. I just pray he doesn't get injured. He's a solid and dependable player. Uh, another lesson learned is uh, knowing that uh, we could play with some of that type of players. Uh, their assistant Peter Lainka had his chance. Uh, Sodikuma grew in the tournament. That's also very good because what Sodikuma showed me from, from, from viewing is he's tougher than we think. He may have scored only one goal in this tournament, but he's tougher than we think because after the first game and then the second game, I think the coach came out and said that he didn't play according to instruction. Some of that players will crumble, will fall like a pack of cards. Thanks to the coach also because the coach gave him a chance in the third game. He played 90 minutes. We saw him full of running. He improved from being a static uh, striker like a Lukaku to a mobile striker. He was everywhere, running, hustling, pushing for pass, getting the ball, trying to play hold up, play, doing a lot, a lot of things. That, for me, is a positive that I take off this tournament. The downside of this tournament is I didn't get a chance to see Chidi Raijuke, who I think is a magician. If given the right chance, it would do well. Another positive is that, okay, we've not seen Joe Aribo playing in the number 10 position. Yeah, another massive player. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good one. He, he, he keeps it simple. Uh, even though the number 10 position have not completely been solved, uh, we also didn't see much of Frank Oyeka. I thought that Frank Oyeka mm. and uh, Wilfred Ndidi would do well playing the pivot, but that means we would have lost one player up front anyway. But what the coach have shown us is is old school. He's a Roy Hodgson, a Clement Vesterhoff kind of guy. He's not ready to play this 4-3-3 uh, that people likes to play. He likes to have twin strikers, okay? He also likes to have the white men playing on the on the wings. But then we, we, we could improve it a bit we could change chop and, uh, and and prune a little bit and then improve the team but there were a lot of positive we played a very good football we, we we brought the crowd back behind the team uh, there's no negative talk around the coach i still think that our goalkeeper can do well uh, some of the thing because of how close and how deep i was with the team i think that some of those players also need to understand that criticism is part of the game i know that the fans can go overboard like the dead threat and the insult and the misunderstanding people say that uh women were flooding the camp i was the camp every day you were there too there was no such thing okay some people brought picture of um maduka okoye collecting a, a picture from a lady i don't i can't remember when that happened because when i was in the camp the, the maduka maybe that was a picture from another time but the maduka okoye that was how was that not was, even missing so, up. sorry to cut you that was how people thought there was an interview he did with nigeria info where an oep was asking him what are the your know, kind of girls that you you love you know, he was describing his, his specs, as they would say, of yeah. the kind of girls So people thought it was during this tournament. No, that was I know way it, back. Way back. So I had to correct some people on Twitter that this wasn't recent. It's been way back. I, I, so I also saw people talking about that. I was like, oh, come on, this is way back. This is the guy going... If a, if a journalist asks you a question and you don't answer, you say he's rude. Now it's answering. It's having fun. This is off the game. Off yeah. the, they call it off the ball. Yeah. You know, it's off the ball conversation. And then people brought it back and were trying to, you know, make him look bad. One of the guys that I... Some, a few guys that I in I said, okay, let's even agree with your position. Let's kill Maduka Okoye. This same Francis Uzo that all of you are now saying Uzo is our number one, which I think should have been number one from the training that I saw. 
was the guy that you all were criticizing that he's not 19 years old he have three <laughs> children somewhere as if you all attended the traditional marriage or the wedding that he did now this is the same goalkeeper you're not saying that he should be number one i don't understand what nigerians want but i think that there were a lot of positive from the african cup of nation yeah one one of the first times in the history of nigerian football where we got knocked out pretty early in the tournament but they were more positive than negative yeah it's bad to see the teams that have progressed and were not there the tunisia that beat us have been knocked out by burkina faso but uh the world cup is the ultimate if we qualify for the world cup all sins are forgiven all slates are clean uh the the past is the past and we're, we're moving to the future whether the nff will now allow like, want to go to the world cup and do what he wants to do that's another uh, kettle of fish for another day but for now let's just qualify a match for the world cup yeah so when you talk about uh, Onyeka, my mind just flashed back to organic career table uh, he's back in full team training with Warford, yeah. and I mean, I think he he will walk into this uh, Super Eagles team. I think he, he's he's one player that is indispensable in that team yeah. table. So when you talk about Frank Oyeka not taking his chance, so I just think the return of a table might just I don't know I don't know who's going to drop maybe Aribo or somebody. I just feel like table is you know getting back into that team is his, his style of play is this kind of player that that adds this extra energy to that midfield. So I think a table. Uh, it's good to see him back. You are listening to Elegbete TV Radio.